China has also collaborated with Ethiopia in launching the country's very first satellite into space. The nation's Chinese-backed maiden satellite is called Atris-1 and marks a historic moment for the sub-Saharan African country as it seeks to develop its space science sector. Jerome Chala reports. Simply a once-in-a-lifetime historic moment for Ethiopians. The first ETRSS-1 remote sensing satellite is now in orbit. It is from here China's Taiwan Satellite Launching Center that Ethiopia has managed to send one of its own to orbit. The Ethiopian delegation has witnessed the overwhelming moment. I don't know if there is enough words to express my feeling. I, I, the only thing I can say is that when I saw our uh, satellite going up, I, I, I was in tears. Back home, millions have watched the launching on TV. And at the Addis Ababa and Toto Observatory Center, many have gathered for a special celebration. This has given hope for a rapid growth in space science in Ethiopia. The most important thing is that uh, this is the first chapter uh, in the space science uh, technology for Ethiopia. I think uh, it also symbolizes uh, the significant partnership Ethiopia enjoys with uh, China. Right after the launch, Ethiopia's Space Science Institute said ETRSS-1 has already started delivering footages and data as intended. The control station of Ndoto is shown, the first image, and fr starting from now, then we'll proceed to use the application for the end users of the satellite. ETRSS-1, the most important and first Ethiopian satellite, has been launched through the collaborative work of Chinese and Ethiopian engineers. China has also allowed its uh, most famous uh, launching center to complete this job. Group Dallas CGTN, Taiwan Satellite Launching Center, China.